Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In the last video we worked on uh, this industrial building. Uh, in this video we're going to continue from step 14. We're going to use section 1 on sheet number 2 to create the callouts. Uh, so let's switch to sheet 2, section 1. Uh, so we already created callout 3, now we're going to need callout 4 and 5 based on those corners. So I'm going to switch to section 1 in the Revit file. Uh, so I noticed that we have a little bit of a gap here from the bottom of the beam system to the top of the beam is about 116 millimeters. So uh, we need to select the whole uh, beam system, not just one joist, so I'm going to select the beam system and I'm going to move this edge of it, I'm going to move it down till here which is 116. Now it seems that the two edges uh, work better. I also want to select the roof and to the offset I can assign the same number which was minus 116 so the whole roof jumps down as well. Then we're going to create callout number 4 which is section detail 4 which is this area uh, on the grid D. Uh, so I'm going to go with view, callout, rectangle. I'm going to draw a window in here and I can hit escape then select the callout. We can use this blue circle to move this away. I'm gonna go to the callout which is also in the browser under sections. Let's name it as section detail 4 so I'm gonna copy this name and name this as section detail 4. Uh, so going back here is 1 to 10 uh, I'm going to go with 1 to 10 in the scales and in the details we always want to go with fine level of details uh, in these scales it really needs to be set on more level of details going back to my section 1 we need the next callout which is this one which is the edge and the parapet uh, this area so I'm going to go with view callout one rectangle callout and hit escape. Select it, move it there, going to the callout. It's a, it's this one is one to five actually. So one to five is the skill and find level of details. Then let's create callout six and seven. Six is mezzanine and grid D callout 6, so going back to section 1, callout 6 is this area. I'm going to go with another callout, rectangle, hit escape, select it, drag it, go to the callout. These remaining callouts are 1 to 20, 1 to 20, fine level of details. Uh, so the previous one was section detail 5. I'm gonna go with the same name system so I'll go with number 5 here and this one is gonna be number 6. And one last callout is this one here. So I'm gonna go with another callout. Select it, move it away and uh, I want to set it to find level of details 1 to 20 rename it as callout number 7 so we have all the details we are good with step 14 step 15 in the callout section detail 5 insert one AutoCAD detail so uh, callout 5 which is this one we're going to insert one detail. So uh, I'm going to section detail 5. Feel free to close in active views. OK. And in this view, we're going to import the CAD detail. So insert import CAD. Uh, this is the CAD file that we need. I want to go with current view only, black and white, and manual origin. Uh, so I can put it where I need on the sheet. So open around here 
I'm gonna set this here. Let me drag the uh, crop region. I want to move the detail to foreground. Uh, first, let's put this on the right location. Uh, maybe I can move the cat file from the edge of the beam to the edge of the beam. Step 16, based on this detail, we're going to model parapet and the edge using sweep on the north, east and south elevations. It's talking about this part. I'm going to go to my section detail 5, have 3D open, go with WT so I can see both. Then we're going to go with architecture component, model in place, uh, its type of the roof. So I'm going to put it on the, as a roof type and name it as parapet or parapet edge. And I want to go with sweep. The difference between sweep and extrusion is that with sweep we can have more than one edge. Uh, first I'm going to click on uh, this end if I go with peak pass. So it's going to show right uh, in my section detail 5. Then I want to click on the other two sides. One click here and one click here is enough. The rest of it I can trim the lines like this. And I can trim this other side. And I can move this line all the way till it hits the roof there. And all the way till it hits the edge over there. Okay, and those are the edges. I'm happy with the edges. So we can finish edit mode, go to edit profile. Uh, then I can draw my profile here. Maybe I can start on this edge, going all the way around. Uh, I'm going to continue from the other edge. It might be easier to follow. I'm going to leave this there and I want to draw one line in here. Okay, now I can use trim. I guess uh, the corners are not exactly ending right now. And from there to there. Okay, this seems good. Let's finish this and finish this. And now you can see the sweep finish model on all the three ends, uh, which is that sweep over there. So if I click on the cat file, hit HH, now you see we have the sweep. Okay, I'm going to bring back the AutoCAD file. Model 200 millimeter enclosing wall above the, above the office roof on grid 4. Actually, it should be on grid uh, D. On grid D attached to warehouse roof, C section detail 4. So it's talking about, if we see it in 3D, about that piece of wall, 200 wall, going from uh, the office roof to the other roof. Uh, let's see it on section detail here. So that is a 200 wall. It starts on grid D going. Uh, to the left side here. I'm gonna go actually with my roof level. So I'm gonna go with my roof level here. Uh, on grid D, we're gonna start on grid D going to the other side. So architecture wall, 200 millimeter is the wall that we're gonna use. I'm gonna go from uh, maybe finish phase interior and uh, unconnected is okay and I'm gonna go from grid D starting here and moving all the way down so let's see exactly this is the wall if I just type HH to hide the roof here this is my wall so this wall needs to go all the way to my peri perimeter wall. On the other side also, that is the wall. This is the new wall, so it should go all the way to the perimeter wall. I also need to have my section detail 4 open here. Actually, I want to go with not crop for a second. 
if I select this wall, I want to move it down till that wall sits on the roof. I want to move this down till it goes uh, to the roof. There is a little bit of discrepancy here because the roof is a slope, but that's fine. And I want to select this wall, attach top base and attach it to that other wall. So that is the wall that we have. And now in my section detail 4, I can crop the view again. We can continue with the next step. Model tapered roof insulation extrude this is talking about that part. Align this wall on grid 4 again, it means on grid D. So I'm t we are talking about this. Okay, so I'm going to uh, put my two views side by side, put my PDF and Revit side by side. In Revit, I want to go with TW, so I only see my section detail here. And uh, just if I take a look, and I can unhide this stuff in here. So we almost want to go from grid 1 to grid 3, and it's going to be on that area. So back to section detail 4. And I'm going to increase the crop region area. I want to go with architecture, model in place, component, model in place. Again, it's a part of a roof. Roof, OK. I want to name this as tapered roof insulation. OK. And I want to model it as extrusion. It says pick a plane or use the name. I want to say going from grid 1 to grid 3. So I'm going to go with grid 1. We can always change this later. And in this section detail, we're going to follow the dimensions uh, for the tapered area. So let's see. So in my section detail 4, I want to click around here, which is this corner. And I'm going to move up. It seems that it moves up by 96 in this side, 96. So this line here, I just want to copy that two times, one 65 millimeters away, and another time 5 to 9 millimeters away. So I know where uh, the line ends. So I want to go back to my line. I want to go from here following the roof I want to hit tab around there I also want to draw one line which is horizontal but 30 millimeters up here so I'm gonna go with three and then when I draw a line here hit a space on the other side is now 30 millimeters higher so it's gonna be from here to this edge, one other line from here till here. Okay, I can get rid of the lines that I don't need anymore. And I don't need this one. I'm gonna finish edit mode, finish this. This is basically what it is. So I'm gonna go to my roof plane and I can set this edge over there and I can move it all the way out to the other end of the roof which is going to be here so this is the part that we just draw it seems that I'm missing one more thing on section detail 5 which is this part so I want to go back to my section detail 5, have my detail and 3D WT. I want them side by side. And I want to do one more sweep. We did one sweep here. Uh, but I want to have one more sweep here which shows the tapered area over here. So I want to go with architecture, component, model in place. Uh, and I want to go with another roof element and I'm gonna name it tapered roof I'm gonna go with a sweep again pick path I want to go with the inside here 
because it goes with the slope if you see right so also one over there so these are the three edges now we're gonna edit the profile the profile is basically uh, this triangle here so from here going to the right by 100 millimeters going up by another 100 and close the loop check the box check it and finish the edit mode so that's the little triangle part that we saw before uh, let's check section detail number four again now it looks better so I'm gonna stop here we work till the end of step 18 the rest of it is just creating the sheets and putting the views on sheets but the modeling uh, part is actually all done uh, that's it for today thank you so much please like and subscribe for more videos